In this episode, we're diving into The Gentleman, the stylish crime saga from Guy Ritchie. Focusing on the clever Easter egg parallels between the 2019 blockbuster movie and its gripping 2024 Netflix series spin-off. But before we move forward, spoiler alert, there might be some details best enjoyed by watching them first. Though the TV show introduces us to new characters and a self-contained story, it's rich with nods to the original film. Let's uncover these seven intriguing parallels that connect the two. But before that, if you want more content like this, smash that like and subscribe button. Now, let's get on with it. First up, Gangster in the Freezer. While Freddie Horniman, played by Daniel Ings, finds himself iced for four million pounds in debt, plus interest, to Liverpudlian gangsters, Matthew Berger, played by Jeremy Strong in the movie, faces a similar frosty fate for betrayal. Mickey Pearson, played by Matthew McConaughey, forces him into a freezer unless he pays up 270 million pounds for trying to take over his business. Easter egg number two, humiliation by poultry. In a bizarre twist of fate, Freddie Horniman's debts lead to a humiliating settlement. He's made to don a chicken costume while dancing in a demeaning video. This echoes a similarly eccentric form of humiliation in the movie, where Big Dave is blackmailed into a compromising video involving a pig. Number three, White Widow Super Cheese. In the Netflix series, Eddie Horniman, Theo James's character, stumbles upon a unique cannabis strain, White Widow Super Cheese, cultivated by the quirky botanist Jimmy. This signature strain links back to Mickey Pearson's empire from the movie, as it's the same variety he famously distributed. The show teases a connection between the Duke's newfound operation and Mickey's legacy, sparking curiosity over their intertwined worlds without confirming anything outright. Number four, blackmailing journalist Redux. The series introduces us to Frank, a journalist who tries to leverage scandal for profit, directly mirroring Fletcher's role in the film, played by Hugh Grant. Both characters exploit their media influence for blackmail, tying the series and movie together through a shared theme of journalistic power and moral ambiguity. This parallel not only connects the two narratives, but also comments on the dangerous game of information warfare within Guy Ritchie's criminal underworld. Parallel number five, luxurious barbecue. Bobby Glass, from behind bars, enjoys a luxurious barbecue setup a scene that mirrors the garden cookout in the movie, as hosted by Charlie Hunnam's character, Raymond Smith. Both scenes depict characters in the drug trade indulging in high-end leisure, underscoring the contrast between their criminal activities and personal pleasures. Number six, Jim HQ. In the heart of the series, Theo James's character uncovers his family's ties to the criminal underworld, including a surprising alliance with Susie Glass, portrayed by Kaya Scodelario. Their first meeting? At a gym. Susie and her brother, Jack Glass, strategize amidst the sounds of clashing gloves and grunts of exertion. Jack, a budding boxer, hones his skills here, reminiscent of Coach and his crew, the toddlers, from the film. Colin Farrell's coach kept his gang in line with strict discipline and boxing gloves, emphasizing the series' nod to the original's blend of crime and sport. Lastly, women and supercars. Eddie's venture into criminal tasks includes dealing with Mercy, a vicious car dealer as her front business with a shady underbelly of a criminal empire herself. This echoes the women-only garage being run by Rosalind Pearson in the movie played by Michelle Dockery. And there you have it, seven Easter eggs that tie the aristocratic thriller of Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman series back to its cinematic roots. Each parallel not only serves as a nod to fans, but also enriches the new narrative, weaving connections that enhance our appreciation of both the movie and the series. Do you think the characters from the TV show and the movie cross paths in a future Guy Ritchie work? Should the acclaimed director expand the gentleman cinematic universe? If you've enjoyed this brief journey through the stylish crime saga of The Gentleman, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, 
and ring the bell for more content into your favorite films and shows. Share your thoughts and any Easter eggs you've spotted in the comments below. Until next time.